Hello and welcome back. I'm the Emperor and this is the Settlers New Allies. We're playing the campaign. So let's get into Act 3. Or rather Act 2. Still. This time with traders. Let's see what this is all about. Alright, yeah, I accidentally loaded into this mission before and now there's no intro anymore. So we don't know exactly what's happening. But our goal is to build an arbor. So let's get going. First things first, I will get my army to find us some more reliable sources for stone. Because right now we only have this here. And that's not really great. We will add another quarry to this, however. Because stone is a premium and we really need that early on. Uh, let's get us a few more engineers out of what we already have to work with. Our scouts discovered a landmark. So we find us... Looking at a few enemies here. I think we can take those out. These are scavengers, I believe. It's this, this, this grayish... Well, that's not gray. Brownish color. That should be scavengers, so... Hopefully we don't lose too many troops, but it's not looking good right now. We're losing a bunch. Goodness. Just okay, so that's cleared out. Let's get these guys to pick all this up. I'm looking for this. I mean, there's no stone. That's not ideal. What is going on here? Why are the enemies right there? What? Okay, this, this is kind of bad. There are enemies attacking us from all sides, and I just moved out all our army to the north. So... Our homes are under siege. Order received. That'll cost us... Oh, there's two towers. That'll cost us... There's no way for us to go through that yet. We don't have enough troops. But at least now we know. That we have to protect in both these directions. So I've decided that I'm gonna go take one of our archers and do a little bit of a scouting mission up here. I wanna know what's up there while we build more down there. So at the moment, I'm setting up more fishing huts, I'm setting up the hunter, I'm setting up some more logging camps, some more houses, and a, another sawmill to help work through this so we get more planks more quickly. We might build another forester in this direction here because I haven't seen a regrowing forest yet and I feel like we need those. So we'll check back in in a moment once we've done a little bit more to our economy here. So I made a little mistake here. I sent all my dudes to do a little trading run because I didn't find anything up here that was dangerous. But then suddenly this huge enemy army kind of appeared out of nowhere. So all my engineers are now dying, basically. And my army won't reach this in any reasonable time frame. So we lost all of our engineers right there. Uh, on the positive, maybe they're fighting these guys instead of us. So that was a bit of a wash situation right there. I should go to the training grounds. And I'm slightly scared because I'm running out of resources locally. Um, so we only found gold, which, you know, Inside. isn't bad really, but it's I don't think it's really helpful. The only positive to come out of this is that we basically caught half his army here. 
And we're attacking his archers first because it, he got kind of split up and round. So we destroyed what deals the most damage in his army first. And now we are probably fine in killing this. But yeah, we're down on engineers. They, they're all they're all gone. We, we need to get us a new group of engineers. It is all gone, but we lost like 11 or something. So that was a really, really bad situation for us there. Losing out on all the tools that we had built up on the side there. So, uh, yeah, that's not it's not good at all. Not to mention all the fish that we just dropped here. Where's the healer? Uh, so this was cleared out. Not by us, mind, but... Yeah, we wanted to get to that trader, but really... Let's just clear this thing out as well. <laughs> it's, it's not ideal. Maybe I should just build the harbor. You know, like the like the game mission tells us to. In, instead of trying to do my own thing here, trying to be smart about it, maybe I just build that harbor. So let's see where it even is. There. Okay, I need more tools. But I'm working on more tools now, so... Uh, we'll figure that out in a moment, I think. So we cleared out this camp, which is pretty nice, but... We're not doing too well on our armies. At least we managed to early on set up a uh, a troop or a defensive line. And they have these probing attacks, I will call them, because there's sometimes there's just this enemy kind of popping out of nowhere. Ooh, this might be good for us. This might be good for us. So let's go and uh, expand up to the north here, kind of. First to the side. Pick all this up. And that's basically where we're also going to send our army down toward. So we're going to send them here. Whichever way they find, basically. Is likely going to be the shortest, most efficient way. And another thing, we got enough to build ourselves a harbor. So <laughs> let us. Let us finally do this. Let's do the thing that we were supposed to be doing. One more delivery. We're doing good on people. It's all fine. We got a few arms, so maybe we build us a recruitment center. Get a little bit of a, you know, replenishment for troops ready. Might be a sensible idea. I feel like could could be good. Could be good for us. All right. Tiny little army attacking our expansion toward the gold mine. But I think we should be fairly okay. Cleaning that up quickly. We will set up some towers here. And spare our soldiers' lives in future defenses. But we also are working on this training ground still. So hopefully we'll have that done soon. Harbor is still working. We're getting there. We're getting there. All in due time. All in good time. And just as I say it, another wave appears to attack us. But they turn around, which I don't trust, so we will engage. I don't want these here next to me. We are losing soldiers for sure. It's, it's, a, it's a painful situation, but... We have very little alternatives, really. Very little. We have to do what you have to do. Alright, so <clears throat> the harbor is done. Our army is uh, fixed and ready to go. And I need to also send them to this side. I heard some enemy reinforcements have arrived. They got a scout running around here. Lost another one somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. And uh, we got the gold mine going, we got a mint going, and we got this harbor here. Which now allows us to buy things and also to sell things. So we could sell, for example, a bunch of planks. Uh, let's say 20. So our goods are being transferred to the harbor and they will eventually go away, I'm, I'm sure. 
and we got our scout somewhere here. <laughs> I like that the that the hiding functionality of the scout is, is pretty much also hiding them from me. Now we are supposed to investigate the trade embassy, old trade post, and harbor administration. I'm leading the way. Now there are some more uh, enemies sitting around here. They are like the neutral scavenger people. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to investigate here. I've seen this and there's really nothing there. There's this person here who had tried to bring 20 fish and get some iron out and I really died. And we also see now where the enemy is coming from, from the north, where we have zero troops available. But luckily we moved our troops over to the side here for this expansion. So they're somewhat close to help fight this off. But we also now know we need to protect toward the north because apparently the north is also not safe. We are... Let's just really wrap our minds around that. We are not safe here. This is a dangerous place that we have arrived into. And our troops are being pretty much slaughtered right there. We have a lot of archers. So we will win this. But at a high, 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 high cost really. So that's very suboptimal. And we have yet to find all the things that we need to re replenish our troops. So I'm thinking the whole point is basically that we need to go ahead and fill this up. Earn us some gold coins and then work off of those, basically. And maybe try and defend our lands without actually using our troops in defense of our lands. So we are going to go do this. Put a turret there and a bastion here. And add a this thing here. So they came down there. I'm assuming they're going to go here. The bastion is going to support. This thing is going to attract. This thing is going to kill. That's basically how I'm planning to do this at the moment. So let's throw a road this way. Here, it'll, it'll go through this, which I find very cute. That we can build through this little camp here that we've, that we've conquered. It helps block things out a little bit. So it's it's actually a pretty good, good place to put things. Now I'm moving these guys over here, which is a choice, let's say. I'm not saying it's a good choice, but... I should go to the training ground somewhere. I think nothing else is going to come here now that we have defeated the enemies. I'm not sure what the heck that sound is that keeps repeating there, but that's what it is for the moment. Apart from that, we have sold our goods, I think. So we could buy, for example, iron, or we could buy weapons outright. These are pretty expensive, though, so that's something to keep in mind here. We could finally get some of these. They are not that expensive. But yeah, I'm 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 gonna wait a little bit until we are we're a little bit in a different position here. We would get some berries there and some gold as well. So for now I want this built as a northern defense line. And then we're gonna expand in this direction, set up another defense line, and then I hope we are kinda decently equipped, and then we just need to find some resources for us to finish up the mission overall hope that's gonna work I should hide here so we found this area and we we're supposed to defend it I put a scout there I don't know if this is gonna be attacked but uh, reinforcements arrived I don't know if they if they're gonna do anything about the hidden scout I don't think so they're arriving they're gonna attack here so they're gonna go ideally down this pathway now we got a bunch of workers here right now. Our engineers are trying to push our borders a little bit. So I hope they get out of the way. But the enemy should be routed through this, ideally. And since enemy units can't step on our roadways, maybe they can't get in here. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, but they seem to act as a little bit of wall. What did I want to pick up again? So we'll see what happens in just a moment, I'm sure. But this here should work out fine with our scout just standing there alone. So let's check what we found here. Let's let's talk to Rena. This is by far the most well-preserved ruin on the island. How do you know it's the only one you've seen? Traders bustling around the embassy, making contact with each other and forming new deals to trade the most exquisite goods across the oceans. You know, this could, for all we know, this could be a, a hub of slave trading. And she's just so excited about it because she can't see anything wrong about anything ever. This lady is slightly delusional, 
I think. Okay, these guys don't need to stand around here. Like they're they are pigs for the butcher. Like standing there, that's that's not good. Let's get you guys to safety, maybe. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so much for that. Not again. <laughs> Please don't let me lose all my engineers again. I hate that they have to stop. Like they can't follow an order without stopping. They they first just have to stand perfectly still. Now let's bring back our soldiers from over here. Who are currently trying to protect our expansion. Oh God. Oh God. I mean we we could have lost more. Let's let's keep our soldiers here so we don't repeat this mistake on this side as well. Let's build some defenses. So we put up a tower. We put up a bastion behind it. And we put a decoy underneath the tower. To help defend the tower. Basically. And we're going to send our scout here around. To help with things a little bit. Find what we can find. See what we can see. This mint here has been going. We got some forages now. Really, we're doing fairly well on a bunch of uh, items there. I think we could add another farm. We got a lot of water that we're working with. So let us set up a different farm here, right there. But my main issue, we need to be a little bit careful. Oh no. Uh, luckily, the stone mine does not actually cost stone because that that would be very bad for us because we're actually completely out of stone. So let's set this here up. This is a problem now because we can't defend this. And if they come straight down here, they're going to move around that and attack that first. It's not great. No, I think that's where I last, uh, lost the last scout as well. I don't think we can get past that. I don't think that's a possibility for us. So we're pretty much landlocked all around. I don't know what's up here. There is an enemy camp, so I don't know if we can walk there without getting through this. There's a some floating foliage. But I think that's pretty much as far as we can go. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these guys up here. The scout. They're just going to stand there and, and scout for us this area and just be there. And then we're going to tell them hold. Wait, can I set this up? So I put this and then I put this. Oh no, I, I think I just hold like that. Okay, so they're going to go there and start the holding thing. This is what we eventually want to reach. There's another thing right over up there. So we want to reach this as well. Eventually we're going to push up there, have our defenses north, which makes these defenses completely useless. My planning ahead is not too great. But right now we're strapped for stone anyway. We could buy it. So let's let's buy us some stone. We need it. So we're going to buy us some... Um, I don't know. How much gold do we even have? 1,070. 1,700. So let's get like 41 stone. Let's do that. Let's make use of the harbor. That's what we're supposed to do in this mission. So let's try not to be super smart about it and take forever. So we got a little bit of a situation here. I just started trading a hundred wood planks. And I think these guys are queuing up to get in here to deliver those. So This is my easiest job today. Or maybe they're trying to get driver's licenses. I'm I'm, I'm not quite sure. But <laughs> I think it's very cute. They gotta go through this one entrance. This house has all the entrances in the world. But nope, they have to go through this one. So form an orderly line, which makes me think that these settlers are British in the end. So this is now head cannon for me because they are queuing like absolute professionals here. You never, you rarely, I wouldn't say never, but you rarely see queues that well organized. So well, kudos to them. And they got this nice little tree thing to walk under, you know? So it's also, it's also pretty sweet. 
What a beautiful day. <laughs> So something to note about the donkey cards is that they actually help with trade stuff. So I'm selling a, launch, uh, a bunch of wood right now and sometimes the donkey cards get in on this. So that's pretty good because they carry so much more than one single person. I think they carry up to 10 or somewhere in there in, in that space of amounts. They carry a lot. So that's pretty cool, I think. At the moment, they're kind of redistributing things between the various warehouses that I've started setting up uh, to help alleviate the stress on the various uh, collection sites a little bit more because they didn't really return anything. I've also managed to lose my entire army. So I've ordered a bunch of shields to try and get um, that fixed up again. And we're researching everything to get our units a little bit stronger. Where did I lose my army, you might ask? Well... I lost it up here. There's some healers there that completely obliterated my troops because they just kept enough of theirs alive to uh, really destroy what I had. So, yeah, that that is a that is a bit of a big big shame. I'm not going to show you that, but our research is complete now. So for us, it kind of goes on claiming territory. You could upgrade that. Trade completed. And another trade was completed, so we could go ahead after now having sold a bunch of stuff. Gold is being offloaded off the ship, but we can initiate the next trade. So buying weapons outright, I think, is pretty decent. Then again, one iron costs 80. So out of 160, I get two of these if I build a blacksmith. And the blacksmith, I believe, only really uses iron. So I think I'm going to switch over from buying weapons outright to just buying more um, more I or, or iron to begin with. I haven't bought iron yet at all, so I can't say more iron. But I would be buying iron and we build a few blacksmiths around here. I hope that's where it's going to be delivered. So I can, just off of iron, probably sustain my whole army. Uh, and make it a cheaper trade for me as well. So we can afford it all. And I don't really see any need for buying anything at the moment else. Because we got some stone income going. So we're just going to buy a bunch of iron. I think that's enough for these. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see for sure. We'll figure it out. We always do. I haven't really upgraded our housing situation because we're pretty good on this right now we are very low because we have so many building projects going and that usually upsets them a little bit or rather it upsets the balance a bit and we still got a bunch of guardians to be built here so that's all good we got this fully upgraded our units have plus 45 percent health which is pretty high for some of these we can't actually see their values right there but i think i think we can see them in the training rounds there so yeah that's pretty high my army's a little bit split at the moment but that's okay I'm just gonna go put them like that and wait as we keep building things and have our donkeys carry things around for us this is another little gold mine here we got it's no big priority for us. Research was finished. Let's check that out again. Uh, we could upgrade our health of our buildings. I don't think we really need that so much. Uh, maximum taunt targets. That could be pretty good. So I think we're going to go upgrade that. It's also very fairly cheap. Just a few wood planks. Which we have a pretty good economy on. If we look at our raw material for that. Honestly, we should build another sawmill. That is, that is a little bit... That's a little bit too full without getting us anything. So here's a nice spot for another sawmill. Actually, it's not not a nice spot. We would kill this road here. I don't want to kill that road. I'll just build the sawmill up here. It's not a good spot for it, but it'll have to do. 
So we have eight donkey carts, I think, and they're all going. I mean, look at that. I... Did they just sell all my iron? Why are they bringing it there? As long as there is peace, fine. I know there's a big fish around. No, I'm buying that. I don't know what they're bringing. Oh, they're bringing gold. These are gold chests. That is not iron. They're bringing gold chests. <laughs> all right. Now we know that as well. So I was a little bit wrong. It's not just iron that the these guys are using. They also need coal, but that's fine because we can build uh, these little charring uh, charring clins here, which are fairly affordable, as not to say inexpensive, but they're affordable for sure. And we can have those sitting around generating us coal from uh, basically wood logs. Which is what we got going on anyway. But I think we might want to expand and get some logging, logging uh, going on up here. Because this is an actual regrowing forest, you know. There's also more foraging to be done. So maybe we'll check that out. Hunting as well. Just one more delivery. Oh, we'll just put these here. I also tried to expand the residential area. Because right now, due to being stretched out so far, every job takes forever. Because things need to be carried so far. So I'm figuring getting more people will help alleviate that a little bit. So that's what I'm working on right here, right now. I've also sent my troops to go collect uh, the goods that we left here. Which are some weapons. So we can help reinforce our army a little bit more further. Which is nice. I bought a whole lot of shields. But uh, getting things from defeating enemies. I mean... You know, who doesn't like it? I also strategically posted a few scouts on this island here. So we have an idea of when our enemies approach. This is a respawn area or a spawn area. There's one over here as well. I'm not quite sure where the enemy comes from from that. But they do come in this direction and then they attack this here. So it's still a fine position to have our defenses standing. This I only built provisionally because I don't actually quite know if anything ever comes here. Nothing has come here so far. And we need to also start to get going on our shamans. So I need to build the berry press. And you can be witness to us building berry presses right now. And we'll build them here along those roads. And this here will eventually be filled up. Oh no. They found my scout. Now, I'm not quite sure if my scout attacked them. Because I put them to hold this position. But I think they... They just kind of <laughs> caught them. So I think they get an idea of our troops being out here. Like our, our engineers. So we're going to send our army to help protect these people doing their jobs. I need to be getting a little bit better at protecting our civilian population. And this here, I think, will just be built up with residences. All the way through. Like a lovely little small township, you know. Just all the way along here. And now no one will work for 50 million years because everyone is super involved with building everything. <laughs> but that's okay. Ready for duty. So these are the fish that I tried to initially bring to that trader here. Uh, and I'm not yet ready to commit forces to push in that direction again. All this should be fairly well protected. With our um, situation here. And I really love that they go through this. That we have this little road built through that. I, I really like that. That's super cute. And let's build a little road here. Since they're going that way anyway. All residences have been inhabited. So we have all the people that we can have. Building these up will help. A little bit along the way as well. We got our blacksmiths going. Of course they got iron. But they're now waiting for the coals. From the charcoal cleanse. Which... Have not yet been built. We got a lot of stock on these. So I'm not worried too much about it. This should all be pretty fine. We could sell a bunch of fish. We got a lot of these. And uh, I don't think we really use them all. So let's help that a little bit. Which also takes up workers. So we have so many things that currently take up our workers. Probably a good idea to build a bunch more residences down there in the south. 
And now we could go ahead and try and fetch us a few of our guys who are currently doing building tasks to go and deliver goods to this thing. So we then get some iron out of it, which, you know, we don't even have a furnace, but we could sell it potentially. And it's just a trade for fish. So that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Were our things built up here? Yes, they were. I think we need another storehouse up there. Which right now we cannot afford. Oh, we're missing missing tools. Let's build some tools again. I keep swapping this so it doesn't use up our stone. But now it's I think it's a good good enough moment to do this again. Something that I only just realized is that you can actually switch the green bit that you can have. And this says citizens. The citizen skill improves border expansion and large territory management. And if we don't have that, I don't know what we have. So we're going to unlock this. That sounds like a sensible research tree to go into. So basically, you always got protection. You always got crafting. But this here, you make a choice on. Well, let's see what this is going to be for us. Training completed. We have delivered enough fish. So let's see what this mine situation here holds for us. Ruins on this island. There are also a few neutral traders that gladly share their resources with us. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so they will just randomly or over time now give us give us stuff. So this here is some iron I think we're getting. Can't really click on it. It does pop up. Like, okay, it's just, it's iron. So this here generates us some iron every now and again, which doesn't help us alone because we do need a furnace for that. So let's build at least one furnace at least. At least build at least one furnace at least. <laughs> oh, well. It's from talking so much. So we got another sawmill going up there. I built a few more woodcutters. Logging camps because there's enough I think going around that that we can add a few more and with the furnaces running full steam now I think we're pretty good on that. We could use some more bakers as well. We got enough flour. So probably that's fine Let's build a second bakery somewhere if we can find a spot for it I'm not sure we can There's so much I've been blocking off. It's actually really difficult to to find spaces to put stuff after a while. So you got to be really careful with how you build things and where you build them. You could easily block yourself off from decent building slots by being unca uh, uncaring with your with your choices there. All right, we got a trade completed. I think we sold a bunch of stuff. Or did we buy some? <laughs> I can't keep track. I think we bought a whole bunch of stone there to make sure that we have some. We do have gold, which we can sell. That's why I built another mint, so we get more gold built. We got a lot of grapes, which is nice. So we can get a lot of shamans eventually, which we're working on at the moment. I think we could use some coal as well. Maybe buy some of that. 23 gold. Eh, it's a little bit too expensive for my taste. So maybe we don't do that. <laughs> I don't think we need to trade anything just now. So we'll just leave it and check back later. Once we have something that we really need. I think our economy is ready for citizen research. So what do we have? 20% attack damage on all territory for military unit. Okay, fine. All buildings. The radius in which buildings claim territory increased by two hexes. Okay, that's for expansion. What do we need here? Research previous level. Alchemist, Shamans, Mystics. Creates wondrous effects around defeated units. Reduce damage taken by allies. Okay, that's pretty good. Demolishing your own buildings reimburses some cost. Alright, let's... Uh, let's go into something here, maybe. These goods are heavy. What else do we have in that tree? Military units. Carriers. That's what I want. Carriers can use pull cards on dirt roads. That's, that's what we need here. This is a really important one. That one will make a big difference. You 
You know what I just realized? I never find mines for these gems here, but we can just buy them now. I don't know exactly how much we need for anything, but we can just buy a bunch. Let's buy 700. And then we can build us a thing where we can recruit healers and make our army that much more sensible and effective. I don't know where I put this thing, because honestly, we're running out of space quite fast, but this seems to be a nice addition. Because honestly, oh no. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, we build through here then. Let's build that way. Then we can at least put some residences right there. So we don't waste all the space. Just most of it. There we go. So these ritualists, they're very cheap. They cost a 30... Basically 30. Nothing. And they heal. Auto cast. They could also do Howl, which increases effect, and they have Ooze, which we haven't really researched yet. But basically, from the 800 or something we just bought, we're gonna get us a bunch of Ritualists. And then, once we have those, we're gonna go on the offensive, I think. But I really like I really like the little recruitment thing. They take the magic, they pray to the goddess of the earth, and that's it. I think what a lot of people find a little bit disappointing is that there doesn't seem to be a difference between the different races. It's basically everyone has a healer, everyone has a ranged alchemist type unit who does things. So it's it's um yeah all all pretty samey I think. But it, you know, it is what it is. So far, I'm having a fairly good time on all this, and we have a few healers ready. It's not many. Yet, but uh, I think overall the army is looking fine. Usually you go with a hundred soldiers to do anything, but I don't know if we really need to. Also, I'm noticing now we have been building weapons for a long, long time. So maybe let's add especially more archers. I think we have the least of that. Oh, uh, no, actually we have a lot of archers. We have a few warriors. So let's get all the warriors that we can and then fill up with archers as well. Where's our rally point for this? Did I set it up? Yeah, it's up here. It's all fine. We're, we're getting we're getting places. We're working on it. Oh, these goods are heavy. And we're ready to research the courier network, which we will absolutely get on immediately. So our people can be more effective at doing their jobs. Which is, I think, a good thing in the end overall and everything. So our army is slowly growing to a size where I'm feeling comfortable sending them out. But something that I just started on the last few uh, mana crystals that we have lying around is I created some summoners, or, or I'm currently recruiting some summoners, and you just saw someone walk in here. So these will be our first summoners ever. We sadly don't see their training, but let's see what they look like. Oh. All right, okay. I don't quite know what they have on their head, but I'm just going to pretend it's one of those caps from Peaky Blinders, basically. So this is fine. We're not getting any for, uh, any more healers at the moment because we have spent all of our uh, mana crystal resources here. For this very moment. So I'm really looking forward to them being able to use hand cards everywhere. That's a great research thing that we get to do. So here's the last healer that we're going to recruit for the moment. And there is another summoner who is a long-ranged anti-building unit, basically. So let's add all these to our number one army. So we have 15 healers. We have a dozen or so of everything, at least. So I'm feeling somewhat confident. We haven't been attacked in a really long time, which, you know, I think is uh, is a bit odd. Nothing has, has attacked us for a really, really long time. No one has approached us. Nothing has happened. Not quite sure why. Just one more delivery. But such is life as a settler out here. This is nearly done. And I think... 
this this research is exclusively done by delivery. So as soon as all the things are delivered and we're missing only one iron, which is coming there, this is done. We also researched this so our engineers can now deliver one extra good, which should help uh, servicing these situations over there, like the iron mine that we got some iron from. We're going to look at that in a second once this research here is done. That's fantastic. So now we can use these dirt roads uh, sensibly. And what is this here? Decoys. Uh, it's not bad. What do we have here? Elemental is siege range. Oh, yes. So we're going to need to have one in this. Uh, and then we can go in here, basically. All right. So I wanted to look at this real quick. So now these guys should be able to quicker deliver. So we need 20 and we're sending seven. So everyone here has a little bit more fish. And they then get uh, this iron out of here as a trade for fish. I think this is our last unit arriving now. Which will mean for us... Back on the warpath we go, and we well, I want to clear this up first. It looks like we've already defeated this, but I don't think we have, to be quite honest. Yeah, they have regenerated fully, and they have healers, which was the problem, which is why I lost against this camp before. They, this army killed my 60-something army entirely. Ready for duty. Can you please walk up? Okay, yeah. So now it should be a little bit more even because we have a lot of healers as well. So we're still losing units, but... At least we're getting through to the healers now. Which was basically denied to us last time. Leading to a complete loss of troops on this one. It's a big shame. So now we can use these idlers here to pick all this up. And more idlers to pick all this up. Oh, well, no. Actually, they have to deliver something and then they get something. Some iron and some gems. Let's, let's, let's discover everything back here. I don't like leaving undiscovered areas. Let's see what we got. Down! Nothing. <laughs> All right, that means we can actually turn and go on the offensive. Let's turn southward. As it's the closest thing anyway. And everything here is kind of under control and working. There was another area up there that I would like to get. So let's get some territory expansion this way. Maybe there's something good for us. Research completed. Ooh, research is completed. All in good time. So, we can't do this yet because we don't have coal, we don't have gems. But... Let's see. Let's give them this. Reduce damage taken by allies for 25 seconds. Seal allies for 100. Like, this is pretty good. That's pretty good. I think we should have that. Attack damage on our territory. I don't think we need this. Because I was hoping there would be more of this, but this is this is good enough, I think. This is a really big boost at the end. I don't think I wanted to upgrade that, but there we are. So what we need is some coal, I think. We're just gonna no, <laughs> darn. We're just gonna buy ourselves a bunch of coal here. So we have enough. And then I built another harbor over here, so we can trade some more gems. Mainly to get that research done. Okay, army can now see the enemy here. Okay, all this is this. So that's fine. I don't know if we're capable of taking this down. I mean, we should absolutely be capable. I'm going to take one of these guys. Trigger the turret. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. And thanks to our healers, he should survive. The enemy is sending some troops, as we can see. So we're going to work our way through this now. I should go to the training ground somewhere. 
Enemy in sight. Research completed. Yeah, okay. That was that was pretty decisive. Ready for duty. Healers really do win. <laughs> Honestly. Love on you, Let's go and trigger that turret. There we go. So every time you do this movement, they stop. It's the same thing with Dungeons 4. I don't know why they do that. Why do they every time have to stop? Don't get it. Makes no sense to me. Should be fine to destroy now. Enemy in sight. Let's check our research. So we don't have this stuff yet. It should be coming soon. There's some enemies trying to walk up on our army. I don't think we need to take that turret. Probably not. We can just leave it and we just find their warehouse and then we take that down. Enemy in sight. So we're just gonna go move into their territory, not care about anything. All we need of course. is their warehouse. So, so, so. Probably around here. There we go. Do we see any other turrets? Not just now. These are all explorers, so we can just go ham on this and hopefully bring down the whole shebang all in one go. I think this coming up from the from this from the sky, this is the summoners basically. So they have about double the range of everyone else. Okay, so why didn't everything this why didn't everything go down? It's a little bit odd. Before it did. We're just gonna go move deeper and see if we can't find more warehouses. Enemy in sight. So that should have brought it down. This is a quickly. And if I can avoid fighting more turrets, I will. And it looks like we might be able to. So we're just going to move like this, turn in that direction, and then attack here. Look at these hundreds of people fearing for their lives. Check our research. And now we can do this. Siege range. Let's go. Okay, there we go. That's taking everything down. Meaning we can likely just go here. Let's do an attack move. And move our troops down there. And I don't think we can go quite, quite just out here. Trade completed. I need some rest. Research completed. Just a scratch. Discovered a landmark. So what I kind of like and not like is that the area is not like go in the center and you're there. You know, this is this is pretty much this is pretty much a different situation. So we got to have someone here to take care of this. We have to defend it 14 minutes to so we can learn about this harbor. Set up there. We'll see if there's going to be enemies attacking us. Don't think there will be, but... Let's check out what Rina has to say. The harbour must have been the busiest part of town. 
I guess this is where crewmates enjoyed some time away from the confined space of their ships. This looks more like a lighthouse, but okay. The sweet smell of the island's beautiful flowers. It's a bit small for a tavern, but you know, what, what do I know? Rena is clearly some sort of expert. I'm not quite sure what, but some sort of expert she is. So let's go attack on this side while we do ever more research into our cool stuff. Oh, we don't have enough crystals, but we should be able to pick up some up here. So we're going to go take some of our lads and lasses here. These, And we'll send them right up there to pick all this up because there's some crystals in this, which we need now. We could, of course, buy more, but... Eh. Why? <laughs> Why would we? Could sell some wood. We have we have a lot of wood. Don't have a lot of that. But we can sell a lot of more lumber. Let's go. Okay, you can't just... Okay, you can't. That's weird. I could, and then I couldn't. Odd stuff. All right, our army has arrived down in the south. We triggered the first turret. Quickly. And now we're going to go destroy it. They apparently don't want to walk like I want them to walk, so... That's how it's going to be. Let's see. Okay, this triggers. Very good. Let's try and keep these people away from that. Ideally. Our healers should be able to... Mitigate that little bit of damage here. I really don't quite get why we haven't been attacked in a really, really long time. But I like how our little village has come a long way from its humble beginnings. And I've totally forgotten to build more troops, so... Uh, our armor piles have been going up. I don't even quite know how, because... We don't have a steady income of iron at all. And we only bought like 60. So, but I think 5 to 5 turns to... I don't know how we got that much. Maybe we have found it somewhere, but... I mean, we picked up a little bit here. We picked up a little bit there, but... I felt this. Still odd to me. So let's, let's push in here. Finish up this situation. Do we still have all of our summoners? We do. Okay, can we maybe attack the thing that makes sense to attack? Oh yeah, their range is big now. A little bit of upgrading. That's not all then. There must be more in this direction. There's a bastion tower there. But it's a singular one. So we'll take this guy to trigger the tower. Oh wait, no, Bastion Tower. Oh no, a Bastion Tower just shoots. That thing does not do the arrow shooty roundy thing. So this thing just one shots everything that goes in there. So we have to really push it in. That'll cost us some lives. I'm weirdly attached to my soldiers in this game. I don't quite know why. Because I feel like it takes so long to get to the point where we can reliably create enough. Any marks? But in other games, I don't care that much. It's weird. It's probably a cool thing, you know. Let's just burn down this last warehouse. That should be it for them. And then we can finish up mission... Two of Act Two, I think. So, all right, that's all of that. So now we just send our army down this way and see what they can find. I like that they just yell bandits, even if there aren't any. They just yell it. It's a little bit like the, the boy who cried wolf. You got, you got to be careful with these things. Let's buy some more crystals because we can. Population limit reached. I really love how they tr how the troops just kind of go into formation and walk like that. Super inefficient, 
And they're very much weirdly arranged, like healers go first and stuff like that. That's not very helpful, but I do like uh, the look of it. Like it's it's a it's an army in marching formation. It gives it a little bit more of a sense of scale and size. You know, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's some salt lakes there, Ready. which is nice. We're supposed to find the old trade post. I like that everything is so scattered on this island. So this should also, as a natural beauty thing, help heal our troops a little bit quicker. Um, oh, can't restore health. Okay. Because it's salt lakes. All right. Okay. Only the actual lakes can, can restore stuff. So we're going to move our army around. <laughs> our troops are tired. Oh, no. Can relate to that. I'm sorry, guys. So we've got a few sitting on there. That should be enough to trigger the event. To finish all this up. I never really built all that much in the north, you know. Just tiny things that never really contributed to the economy. The most important bit was really getting this stone situation here. Nothing ever attacked there, but... Better safe than sorry. Let's see what Rena has to say. And then probably go immediately to the other thing as well. An old trade post. I can only try to imagine the wondrous sense of spices and exotic fruit that must have filled this place. This must have been a paradise once. Too bad the Maru had to abandon the city. The salt they harvested here must have contaminated most of the ground. She is just making conjecture after conjecture. All right, so now we should be able to get another little clip here. Let's go. I dug up as many artifacts as I could. I don't have a location yet, but I found some trade contracts that stated a few names that might belong to our ancestors. I will know more after going through all the cargo manifests I found in the Harbour Administration. You found ancient trade contracts? May I have a look at them? You will find my expertise from going through thousands of contracts in the past useful. Let's research them together then. Just come over to my place once I have a couple of them translated. I know an abandoned island close by. It's quite small, but we will be safe from curious eyes. Hand me the coordinates. I'll make sure we plot a course right away. I'm really looking forward to having some time without fighting or running away. I wouldn't mind having some quiet time for doing research either. Nothing of that is going to happen. Mark my words. That's just not going to happen. Victory is ours. We will have to fight. There will be no quiet time. We got a Maru Tracker Uncommon. I don't know what that means. I don't really care, honestly. We're now the Explorer. Uh, Impura the Explorer. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this, leave a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. And also go check out the Discord. Join us. Become part of the family. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. See you on the next one. Until then, bye-bye.